YouTube, my name is Chase and today I will be reviewing the new Nike Zoomfly SP Fast Nathan Bell collaboration. Let's get started. Starting off with the box of the shoes, it comes in a typical Nike orange box but the Nike box also includes this neon Nike running bag. Now these shoes are currently running retail at $150 and man are they some statement wearing shoes. I can definitely guarantee that people will notice you in these very, very pink shoes. To understand the shoe, though, we have to understand the artist who designed the shoe, Nathan Bell. Nathan Bell is a Los Angeles-based artist mainly focusing on handmade drawings and paintings describing his life scenarios. The shoe theme that he was going for is fun and humor. As a runner, Nathan Bell says running is a mental roller coaster. When he is given the opportunity to design the shoe, he wanted to express this roller coaster through his handmade drawings on the shoe. The designs on the shoe show the highs and the lows when running and expressing some humor along the way. His designs are all over the shoe, as well as in the insoles. A quick side note from the insoles, they are removable for people who have inserts like myself. Moving on from the design and cosmetics of the shoe, let's actually break down the shoe model itself. The model of the shoe is called Zoom Fly SB Fast. It was released in August 2018, and this shoe was Nike's innovation project to break the two hour marathon barrier. The upper of the shoe features a translucent stretch woven upper that is built to be lightweight and breathable. The concept of the shoe was that these are built to perform on race day, but also are durable enough to be worn every day. Moving down from the upper to the midsole, Nike uses the ultra lightweight foam called Lunar Lawn. The Lunar Lawn foam originated in early 2000s and having the first prototype actually was in 2003. Nike drew inspiration from images of astronauts walking on the moon. They really wanted to replicate the sense of weightlessness with the soft but yet springy cushion. In science terms, the Lunalon is a fusion of the lightweight ethylene vinyl acetate or EVA with a bouncy ball spring rubber of nitro rubber or NBR. Now this foam is completely different from the React foam I reviewed earlier. The cool thing that Nike did was they embedded a nylon plate that runs the full length of the shoe and acts like a spring to reduce the energy loss from the foam midsole. Moving onto the outer sole of the shoe, the outer sole consists of a white high abrasive rubber that improves durability and grip on the pavement. A really cool addition that Nike does with this shoe is the offset of the heel. The design, personally, I think is a really cool concept. If you look closely at the heel, there are some cool additions that Nike added. There is the Nike pinwheel, for instance. The pinwheel is just a bunch of Nike swooshes in a circle, giving this cool logo effect. The pinwheel design itself actually was designed by Nike's first ever employee, Mr. Jeff Johnson, in 1976. Alongside the pinwheel, there is some other text that I'd like to point out, starting off with the word FAST in all capital letters. This shows that the running shoe is part of Nike's FAST running series. Moving on to the INNOVCNCPT lettering, this is just an abbreviation of the word innovation concept, which is the model of the shoe that was designed to be the two-hour marathon challenge. Lastly, the abbreviation of the word design and the numbering 7.2. This is the seventh design iteration with the second type of material direction that they use for the upper. Moving from the midsole and onto the heel collar, the heel collar includes this very soft plush fabric and this added extra cushion alongside the heel to prevent rubbing while running. Now when putting on the shoe for the first time, the size of the shoe does run small. I definitely would order a half or maybe even a full size larger and highly recommend referring to the sizing guide on Nike's website. I immediately noticed the curved portion of the toe uh, when walking, but when running, you can definitely feel that they did this to provide extra push to keep you going. For me, these shoes are 
just not gonna work out. But if you can pull off the hot pink look while running, these shoes are definitely for you. There you have it. That concludes the Nike Zoom Fly SB Nathan Belt collaboration shoe review. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. This has been Chase from Shoeer, and as always, stay fresh.